I'm Frederik van Leerde, 38 years old, coming from Belgium. And the highlight in my career, of course, is the win of the Ironman World Championships in Hawaii in 2013. Yeah, last, last year Kona was a little bit of a, a strange yeah, thing that happened for me because the swim was good, I was there on the bike, uh, even when the, the front group split up, I was with the best guy, still Javi. But then in Javi, um, I was counting on my special needs back and it wasn't there, so uh, I had to stop and wait for, let's say, one and a half a minute before I got my back and then I totally lost it mentally because um, yeah, it, ha it had been a rough year with a couple of incidents before that and just the mental part I wasn't strong enough and I uh, yeah finally I quit the race a couple of kilometers into the run. Normally I start my uh, my year quite early so uh, in the past it was more like Abu Dhabi in the in the month of March and um, I also did twice uh, the Ironman South Africa I won it in 2015 and last year I had a little bit of a, a bad experience of course with the attack a couple of days before the race so um, yeah, I was not really thinking of going back, so that's another reason why I decided to come to Texas. Yeah, the goals for this race is really um, about the time. I, uh, I chose this race to, to better my personal best. Um, going under eight hours, that's the biggest goal. Of course, we always talk about winning and, and getting as close as, as possible. That's, that's also a goal, of course. But um, I focused more on the time, so uh, that's, that's the big goal for this race. Yeah, this race is a little bit special because it's, it's the beginning of the year and even for a, for a pro triathlete like me with, with quite a lot of experience, there's still that extra excitement because you don't know uh, how you will be and how the fitness will be. So uh, it's, it's different, but it's still different from, from a race like Kona because Kona is really the most important race of the year. This is yeah just the first one and we'll see what happens. Um, after that one, it's Ironman France, so that's that's getting more important. Um, and it's always for a pro triathlete. And when when your goal is really to be as good as you can in Hawaii, it's a build up in the season. That's that's the way I see it. And the best form, the best shape, has to be in the month of October. And that's not always easy. So uh, it's building into the season. But of course, I'm I'm looking for a good performance as well. Well, you know, every year Kona is uh, it's it's the biggest excitement or the big the biggest um, yeah race that always is announced, and it's true, of course. And, and new athletes get into the mix. Uh, it's it's change of gen generations, and that's what I lived as well. Before I won the the World Championship, I, I was racing with guys like Craig Alexander, uh, Chris McCormack, and that's for me that were my idols and the guys I looked up to. Then I got closer to their level. Uh, I was a new generation that was coming and then yeah a couple of years later there's there's younger guys coming in guys from Olympics uh, Jan came in then now uh, with with Lionel Sanders with with Patrick Lange um, plenty of athletes now the next the next one who's coming is, is Gomez so uh, yeah we'll see what happens but it's it's good to to live through all of that and uh, see the change it's uh, it's like life you know it's uh, same in life and same in sports I think for Kona it's really important to have experience. Uh, it took me a couple of times to, to just try it and, and to get closer to the, to the top finishers. Um, I think it's a big advantage of course if you, if you did it before or a couple of times before. And then next to that you, you need to be in, in really good shape. Best shape, yeah, it's, it's hard to tell when you're really in your best shape. But uh, there's, there's plenty of things that, that come into play. Of course the media attention as well the, the week before. That's the yeah the most uh, yeah the most media in 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 triathlon is over there in that week. So it's all those things together with the, with the dynamics of the race. Anything that can happen. So uh, it's it's not an easy an easy race to win.
Yeah, I'm riding the Cervelo P5X since uh, one and a half year now, and it's 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 a great bike. I uh, I've always been with Cervelo with the P3, the P4, the P5, and um, yeah, honestly the. Um, the one I have right now is the most aerodynamic and even the most comfortable. I, uh, in the beginning when I saw it, I thought this will be like, yeah, a little bit hard to ride, but it's not. In, in, in fact, it's a, a really comfortable bike and especially on flat courses and courses like Hawaii with rolling hills, it's, it's the ideal, the perfect uh, triathlon bike. The, the big change is a, a little bit over the winter. I took a longer winter than I usually take. And it's been yeah, a couple of rough years in a row after winning Hawaii and then you continue, continue, continue. So uh, it's been a good decision to really take a month, a month and a half off and then uh, just build up slowly. I had quite a lot of time, a couple of months to, to build towards this race. So uh, it feels a little bit old school, like more finishing the season in October and only starting it uh, end of April, beginning of May. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a fresh feeling. You know, I'm happy with what I've accomplished so far, but you know, I, I'm still ambitious and I still, still want to continue to win races. So uh, I think I still, still have it to, to have a really good result in Hawaii. And as we know, uh, on race day, anything can happen. So uh, I had a great day in 2013 in the race, but um, it's, it's still possible, I think. But everything has to be in, uh, yeah, in, in the perfect position and everything has to work as it, uh, as it should.